Hey guys, it's Matt, welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at a tutorial on creating a scrolling or typewriter style effect with text or something on the UI, which you can do if you have an interaction. And you can see it in the background, I can press a little button and I can make it happen. Do remember that there is something on the Unity Asset Store called Text Animator, and you can do loads of cool effects, but this is just one small effect that you could do to make your text more interesting without spending a penny at all. Be sure to come and support me on Patreon to get access to over 115 different scripts and assets you can't find anywhere else. Check out my new website where all my assets are cheaper than on the Unity Asset Store and there's also a bonus code in the description. Be sure to throw a like on this video because it would really help me out. So when we're in Unity, I have got a simple UI either of these two corners. All my UI is made of a canvas and you can right click, choose UI and then choose canvas. Scale with screen size and set to 1920 by 1080. I've just got a container which contains all the UI elements as you can see down here. I've got the main content which is just an image with a text mesh pro text component and I've got also got a button which is the same and this is where we will put our on click event to be able to do the text to make it scroll. Now we're going to right click in the project panel, go C sharp and we're going to create scrolling text example and I'm going to open up in Visual Studio. Now at the top what we're going to do is we want to be using TM Pro which is for Text Mesh Pro because we're going to be using a component from it, the text component and in our actual class here the text which we input which will be in an array so we can find all the different substrings of the actual array which is each individual character. So we can write square brackets to serialize field and then in square brackets again I'm just going to use text area. Text area does need to be for your serialized field or your script will still compile but it won't show any of the variables. Then we'll say private string with square brackets around there to create our array and then we'll say it, this just could be called or item info. We're going to below there have serialized field private float text speed set that equal to 0.01f as a default value. I'm just going to add a couple of headers just to make sure that we know what's going on in the inspector. So the top is going to be my text settings and this is going to be UI elements and below here we just need to reference our text that we're going to use so square bracket serialized field private text mesh pro u gui and we can call this item info text something like that and then we can have a private integer currently displaying text equals zero. I'm going to write a public void or a public method to activate the text that we're going to use and we're going to start a coroutine because this is going to help us display all the text or the specific text which is going to scroll. So then I'm going to create I enumerator and then we're going to say animate text. So now we need to create a for loop and if I type in for and then double tab I will get a basic setup for my for loop which just means now we're going to say that if integer i equals zero with a semicolon then if i is less than the item info which is the string that we're going to place then we'll put in square brackets current displaying text and then out of side of those square brackets we'll say dot length with a capital plus one with a semicolon and then i plus plus then what we're going to say is the item info text dot text is equal to the item info and then in square brackets again is the current displaying text dot after the square brackets substring and then we can have the zero comma i and then I have a semicolon on the end then we can also say yield return new wait for seconds and then we can put in here the text speed that we're going to use and we can press save. Now we need to just quickly start our coroutine. So we need to say start coroutine, open brackets, then we can say animate text with two brackets and a semicolon on the end to start this coroutine. So what this is saying, as long as i is less than the item info, which would be the string that we have or which we've added, which could be sentences that we're using. And then we're going to look for the length of that using the current displaying text, which starts at zero, adding one to that length when we start. And then we're going to say plus plus each time. And it's going to go through for the length of our array, which holds all the text in there. And then in our actual text box, we're going to put the item info, which is the string again, with whatever we are currently with the actual current bit of text that we're on and the substring 
means that is going to be each set of the actual characters that exist there. And we set zero as the start index. So we start at the beginning and then we move along to the actual length and we're going to increment every single time. And then it just yields and it will do this for as long as this for loop is valid at the speed at which we specify. So we can speed this up or slow this down changing how fast each of the characters is displayed. So now what we can do is we can go into Unity again. Say I go to my content button, which is just here, and you can see that I can tick it on and off. We can add our scrolling text example script. We can add it here. So once you've added this to your button, you can see that it's looking for the item text info. So we can just add, let's say the main content text there. We can keep the text speed at 0.01. And what we can do is we can open up the item info, add the little plus and it'll add a text box here. Now we can just add a load of rubbish in this box. Now what we can do is we can add this script to the on click event of the button, choose the scrolling text example and choose activate text. Now, if we choose to press play, and then you can see that the car is here. If we click find out not more, you can say hello and welcome to my tutorial. And you can click this again for that to happen. Now, if you want things to happen more slowly, you could set the text to, let's say, 0.05 and then we could press play again and you can see that when we're doing it you could see that the scrolling or the typewriter effect is much much slower and then of course you could do more interesting things like you can do pull out sliders and have information that appears at different speeds and different places and it can just add a little bit of fun elements to your game i'll put this script and this entire project on my patreon for you to get access to be sure to come and support me to get access to over 115 different scripts and projects you can't find anywhere else would take a look at my website to get access to all my assets which are 10% off compared to the unity asset store there's another code in the description and if you become a patron do come and chat to me on discord big thanks to all my patrons this month big thanks to starfire at 11 and massey for the generous donations and thank you to everybody else for watching for supporting and coming back to check this out. So thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic Christmas if you're watching this at Christmas. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.